Crash risk that you probably know about because unlike the F-16, the F-35 has a flammable body. It's a carbon composite body with a stealth coating. All of that burns in the fire when it crashes and thousand gallons of jet fuel catches on fire. The whole plane goes up in smoke and that smoke is toxic because the carbon composite doesn't burn all the way to water and carbon dioxide. It has a slew of toxic carcinogenic and mutagenic fibers, particulates, and chemicals. And all of these dangers that I'm talking about are known, described, foreseeable. It's all in the Air Force report. But the harm is worse than all of this put together. And as we've heard, this nuclear bomb delivery system subjects our entire population of uh, the seven towns just immediately around the airport add up to 126,000 people. That's a big fraction of the population of Vermont in those seven towns. And those people though, in those seven towns are going to be targeted. The nuclear bomb delivery vehicles are very high value targets and very legitimate military targets. Enemies of the U.S. are going to be basing, are going to be targeting all the bases where all possible nuclear weapons can be launched. We have 4,000 passengers a day using that airport. It's a civilian airport. Those passengers, in addition to the uh, people living in the Chamberlain School neighborhood and in the neighboring towns in Winooski and Williston and so on, will be targeted. And this is called, in the War of War manual, human shielding. So it's illegal for the enemy to intermingle its military equipment and personnel with the civilian population. It's equally illegal for the US military forces to do the same thing. And that's what's happening here. Now our state government depends on respect for the rule of law. So here we have an agency of our state government the National Vermont National Guard, which reports to the governor, it's an agency of the state, it shouldn't be engaging in any kind of law breaking, much less the two kinds that I've talked about here, where they're making people human shield and harming children and adults with learning impairment, hearing loss, and crash risk. Last March in 2018, we had a vote, a town meeting vote in Burlington, without even knowing about the nuclear weapons capability and design of the F-35. The people of Burlington voted with more than 55% to cancel the F-35 basin in the airport Burlington owns. And then city councils, in Winooski, South Burlington, and in Burlington, joined the Burlington voters in making the request to cancel the F-35 and provide another mission that's compatible with location in a city. Fine, if you're going to be remote, maybe that wouldn't be a war crime. But here we're based in a city, surrounded, intermingled, adjacent, civilians, tens of thousands of civilians. Senate Resolution 5 provides a way for this committee and for the Senate as a whole to uphold the military's own law to protect the learning of children, to protect the health, safety, and property of Vermonters, and to respect the will of the people at town meetings.